obey my commands. Good luck, touch gloves. Let's go to work. Thank you. This is a world championship fight. The dream that Maricela Cornejo and friend Sean Cruz de Zern have been following and chasing for so long. This is who they fought that would become champions. Cruz fought Clarissa Shields in her debut, losing that fight but winning the last three. And Maricela Cornejo has faced Elisa Olsen and Callie Reese, losing on both occasions. One of these young ladies will finish off their dream, fulfill their long anticipated climb to the championship tonight. And I'm Bernardo Osuna alongside Bernard Hopkins. When we sat down with these ladies, we hop, they both had one thing clearly on their minds. The opponent is standing in the way no, of down. their dream. Okay. In a way of winning a world championship. And they were very adamant Box. about it. And I just want to see if it, that display of what they said to us transformed to now. And because they both was adamant. And you know what? I didn't doubt them, but now I want to see it. French on Cruz de Zern told, ooh, big right hand there from Cruz de Zern. She told us, look, I took the fight against Clarissa Shield as a big risk on a couple of weeks notice because I knew that would put me on the map whether I won or lost. This is my Olympic gold medal because it was actually Clarissa Shields who turned Cruz de Zern into Stop. a two-time Olympic Box. alternate, beating her along the way to the Olympics. So no hard feelings there, but Clarissa Shields moves down to 160. That opens up the opportunity for Cruz de Zern to take on Cornejo for that vacant belt. And Cruz know how important this fight is and this opportunity, not only for world champion, based on the history that she told us about the past. And that, I Break. believe, is going to be Stop. a part of her motivation Stop tonight. Punching. Boxing. Very characteristic of a female fight opening round. No feeling out round. These ladies came to down. fight, and that's exactly Don't what push. they're doing here. Trying to test each other's chin, trying to test each other's power. So, so far, so good after the first two minutes of our opening Stop. match. Break. It's a 10-round championship Break. bout back, with a vacant 168-pound belt. Exclusive 21 world title defenses against Canelo Alvarez. All right, Maricela Cornejo in the white and black gear. Franchon Cruz de Zern in the colorful green, red, and a white gear. A little bit of gold there sprinkled in from the Baltimore area, Norfolk, Virginia originally. And it's not been an easy road for either of these two ladies in life or in boxing. There we have the grappling from Cruz de Zern throwing down Maricela Cornejo and Bihat. She told us. Time out. Oh, here comes the first warning. Don't throw her down. No. Don't throw her down again. I understand. Part of that is psychological. You threw her down. Because whether whether you're you're understand, or not, you did. Throw okay. her down is good. Yeah, she Don't talked about okay. Cornejo being mentally weak. Go over that corner. Time in. Box. You know, she talked about Cornejo being mentally weak, and I think she was trying to test that. Dihab. Yeah, and she was testing it big time because she took a risk not only um, making this a fight where she lost maybe a point for that particular move, but, you know, she is very adamant about how she believes that she can capitalize on the weakness of the mental of who she's fighting. No elbow, no elbow. Stop! Break! Two very different physiques, Bihab. No. When you look at 168 pounds, they're distributed quite differently on the bodies of uh, these ladies, much like your body is distributed way different than mine. <laughs> All muscle, and I got the dad bod. Yeah, but, you know, Cruz has the bigger, maybe thicker body, but the, the speed ain't there. Um, it's not bad, but it's not there. And that could be a negative uh, when she can get countered. Cruz, that is, get countered based on being a little, I, I could say, predictable. Stay right there. You know, Cornejo made no bones about it. She said, I think Cruz de Zern is going to be quite reckless. And she's been better on those short, quick punches. You know, quickness sometimes and timing will beat power. If de Zern can land, that's going to really going to test Cornejo's chin.
Round three of a scheduled 10 round championship fight. This is only Cruz Zern's fifth professional bout. This is 13 for Maricela Cornejo as a pro. Actually, 15 for Maricela Cornejo. Cruz, Cruz is trying to put the pressure and the body weight to wear down as the, as the fight goes longer. Box. Let go, let go. You're holding, you're holding. Cruz deserves trying to work on the inside. Stop! Finally. What part about holding? No, no, you're holding. You're holding. Jane Eddie finally Box. stepping in and he's telling Maricela Cornejo, if you're holding, and I'm going to call you on that. Trying to be fair on both sides after the grappling move from French Sean Cruz Desern. Great work on the outside from Maricela Cornejo. Oh, nice overhand right there from Cruz Desern. And she once again lands that right. And that's where she becomes a dangerous opponent behind. Maricela got hurt. That punch, she. she wobbled a little bit, not not bad, but just enough to know that she was hurt. That's a confidence builder for Franchon Cruz de Zern. What I like what Franchon is doing is she's continuing to keep the pressure and throwing that big right hand because you know she got much success when she threw it a couple times. All right, round three coming to an end. This is a very close fight. Good action from Vizzer. Ready for the fourth round of action. We're joined by Marlon Esparza, a former Olympian and a good friend of Franchon Cruz de Zern. What are your impressions so far, Marlon, of what you've seen from a lady who said you are like a daughter to her? <laughs> um, you know, I, I saw really what I thought I was going to see. Franchon is an aggressive fighter, but she's also a boxer, and she tends to be a little bit awkward and uh, overwhelms people. And Cornejo, I think she knew that I did her homework, and she's really trying to stay behind her jab. A lot of counter punching. I wish I could see Cornejo throw a little bit more to kind of even it out um, and see what she's what's, what's actually happening. But besides that, I mean, it's really good. It's a good fight. Nice looping left hand there from Cruz de Zern. You know, and Bihop, it always comes down to the impression of the judges at this case. Do they like the clean boxing from Cornejo or do they appreciate the way that Cruz de Zern is walking her down consistently? It can go either way, Bernard, because like you said, it's both styles that a lot of people like the guy, the person that's coming forward or they like the fighter that's backing up, counter-punching, and, and still scoring points. I think it all comes down to the cleaner punching and also who comes down to be more of, of, of a technique and using all these skills. But I think it comes down to who hit each other with the cleaner punches that the referee might look at because it's so close. Accurate. One, Both sides are doing what they do best. It is. I mean, both fighters are playing to their strengths, and we see uh, Cruz Desern there. She is comfortable as an orthodox, but she also switches southpaw momentarily. Yeah, she does switch. That's what I mean by awkward. She does her own moves. She's not a really orthodox fighter. And Cornejo is landing a lot of clean shots, though. She's not wasting a lot, um, yeah. which makes is what makes it a fight. Because besides that, you would think because of all the overwhelming punches. But Corneo's holding in there really well because she's landing everything clean. Everything that she wants to throw, she's landing it. So it makes it Don't difficult. Hold. Don't hold. Let go. Let go. Even Marlon Esparza here on the call. And Marlon, you were the first female fighter signed by Golden Boy Promotions. This is the first opportunity for Golden Boy female to win a world title in Cornejo against Franchon Cruz de Zern. How do you feel about boxing being on ESPN and, and what it means for you and your future? And you know, for women's boxing in general, this is uh, this is one of the fights we want to see. This is major, and this is what we're talking about. Everybody knows the, the top fighters, and everybody knows what's going to make a good fight and and show what we have, display what boxing, women's boxing is about. And I think this is one of one of those fights. People have been wanting to see this, and it's going to definitely show what we're capable capable of. And you know, on the long run, that's always going to help me. And I think that's that. I well, first of all, I believe that's true, and it is a, a good movement. And you've been in it with both fighters. Uh, which one would you say hit the hardest? Don't grab, don't grab. I know don't them grab. both very well. Um, I would say just from no. from word of mouth and, and everything that I've heard Franchon hits the hardest. It seems to be true, but you're on the outside. You just you don't really ever really know. I've heard both hit pretty hard, but uh, I heard Franchon 
uh, you know, no, no hits, grab. Let go. hits Let extremely go. hard. Let go. All right, so right we've got uh, Marlon Esparza unbeaten in five professional yeah, fights, former yeah, Olympian, yeah, medalist yeah, as well. Yeah, now, the body shots. Mm, that was a nice body shot. a great body shot, you know, man. That's how he stopped Oscar. What do they feel like for a woman? Oh, they're the same. They're the same. They're the same. They're, they're not fun. Nobody likes a body Nobody shot. likes a body shot. Franchon's go, starting to go to the body in the earlier round, or in the middle of the round. They asked Cornejo to start going to the body. I think that'd be a really good idea, but it doesn't look like she wants to be on the inside. Franchon's just going. Yeah, Franchon said, hey, she's never been in tough against somebody like me who's been through so much, not only in round number six of this scheduled 10 rounder for the WBA 168 pound championship between Maricela Cornejo in the white and black trunks taking on Franchon Cruz Desern, who had a great fifth round, Bihar, because she started to invest in the body and she started to impose her will on Cornejo, who was out boxing her early on. Yeah, and you know what, that's been stop, sort of stop, round by stop. round by round. And I also like the jab Box. that's been displayed. And the little bit of movement backing up and trying to get the range as you see now. But the punch has got to come in rapid fire. It shouldn't stop, come one stop, at a time. I think that she's trying, well but she's here. been smothered Box. Uh, when she wants to get a distance from her. But I like the jab. I like the, the ring generalship of doing what she's doing. Beto Duran, what's going on in the corners after these first five rounds? Well, with the belt on the line, you hear the, the corner for Cruz Zerm saying she's got that nervous energy that she's too tight, that she hasn't relaxed and let go. Now, Maricela Cornejo on the other side, Tonio Diaz was trying to talk to her, and Cornejo wasn't answering him. Remember yesterday in the fighter meetings, Cornejo said that she meditates and sometimes she locks things out and she's not listening? That's You're what's going on right now. Wow, oh, Beto, and that's quite dangerous because Bihab, those instructions are crucial in terms of making adjustments. And especially when you, you know, she spoke about it and, and he spoke about it and it said that was something that, that, you know, meditation and things like that, but saying it and actually being in the, the battle of dealing with it is, is really a, a, a difference. All right, power punches landed so far through the first five rounds. Cruz has landed 24 of 105 grab at a higher grab percentage, let go, let and go. only five landed by Maricela Cornejo. You're hitting on she's got to have to up that. As once again, Franchon Cruz Desern says, I'm sorry to Jane Aby, the third man in the ring, after hitting on the break, but she's hitting everywhere. And Stop. Cornejo knew that break. the activity and the work rate of Franchon Cruz Desern was going to be not. Round seven of the scheduled 10 round world championship fight. Maricela Cornejo, who's had success with the straight punches, especially the jab. And Franchon Cruz de Zern, whose success has been those looping power punches. But Barry Hunter, who trains Franchon Cruz de Zern, he wants to change the strategy here, Piha. He wants to change strategy. He gave those instructions. And Stop. he said, you have a few rounds to do this, and a strap will be wrapped around your waist. Box. I mean, this is motivation, and he won't his fighter to be able to display all the things they talked about. Nice right hand from Cruz de Zern. Impressive the way that Cruz de Zern took that. Stop. And Maricela Cornejo has been Not past much. six rounds several times. This is the first time that Franchon Cruz de Zern has been past this distance. And Barry well, Hunter was telling Cruz de to, to not throw it Thank wide, you. but throw it straight. And when she threw it straight, we've seen the effects. And she can continue to throw that punch the way Barry Hunter was saying it, not like that, stop, stop. you would see a little bit more respect Box. that she would get back. There's that looping left and then a straight jab from Franchon Cruz deserves like headbutt like there. Overhead. And she has to set it up Cruz with the jab and then let it come, but he can't, she shouldn't let it go wide. And that's what Barry Hunter, our trainer, was telling her. Shorten it up, let it come straight, and not predictable. And if what's don't true grab, in the corner grab, of grab, what neck was that she's not listening to Antonio Diaz, her trainer, then that's a precarious situation Keep she's putting up. herself in because she's trying to do this all on her own. And, and those instructions are crucial because in the corner, sometimes you see something that the fighter doesn't see. And she should be right now, while she has that distance, using the lean body, the jab, down. the reach, Box. and letting punches go with both hands. Hotel and Casino, the joint. 
here in Las Vegas alongside Bernard Hopkins. I'm Bernardo Osuna, six minutes away from crowning a new 168-pound world champion. And Maricela Cornejo told us, F next time. This is my opportunity, and she's got six minutes to prove it. But it's been Cruz Desern making adjustments and switching things up round after round. And being aggressive. So she's showing that she wanted more You're coming holding, forward. Even though some of those punches are coming Thank wide, you. as Barry Hunter continue to stress, let the punches come short and let them come straight down with the right hand. Nice shot there from Cornejo as she snaps her jab and gets, gets caught by that same punch. Body shot there from Franchon Cruz Desern. Just being a lot more confident in her punches. One, two big shots from Cruz Desern. And there, Cornejo having to hold on. And Franchon, look, she wants to fight. Oh, here's that overhand right. She shortened that one up and look at the combinations. When Franchon let those hands go, that's when Barry Hunter gets real happy because he know that's what they practice on, they talked about it, and now she's displaying it. She questioned Maricela Cornejo's heart, and right now she's putting it to the test. Cornejo said, I have a lot of heart in the ring, but sometimes it's compassionate. All right, Beto Duran, what's going on? Here in round eight. Back spasms and pains in her legs from Maricela Cornejo. She was complaining that to Tonio Diaz. And Tonio's like, like, yeah, like this please. is for the world title, though. Like, you're going to be in pain. This is for the world title. He kept telling her over and over, Maricela saying, the pains in her legs right now. You know, and b -Hop, she had mentioned that th she was injury-free all camp long. And all of a sudden, when things get tough, it appears. Let's go back to the mental. Let her, let her, the mental is Thank key. You. Franchon mentioned the mental, and the mental is playing effect right now. And it's because Franchon is pressing all along. Me, Bernardo Osuna, we're at this week. We're crucial, we're seeing things play, play out. Franchon Cruz de Zern said, hey, I'm gonna put hands on her. She doesn't have the experience, not in the ring or in the street, not even in life. I don't knock her hustle, but she's never been through what I'm going to put her through. And Cornejo told us, I don't have the mentality of a fighter. I just learned what a jab was six years ago. We're seeing this right now in what is the championship rounds for a championship fight. Which is very important, Bernardo, because Franchon mentioned that. She went in this fight knowing that. And now she get a chance to make that, as of right now, come to fruition. And, 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 this is, and this is what she planned on doing. And Beto Duran, it seems like the corner was trying to convince Cornejo that she needs to be in there and that she can do this. Yeah, Tonio is going with, Tonio D is going with the mental motivation. And the flip side, Cruz is in corner, Box. can sense that. They told her, go for it, end it. They think Cornejo is looking to get out of this fight. That they feel like she doesn't want to be in there. And Bernard, remember yesterday, they talked about the mental difference between these two. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 Franchon Cruz de Zern said, hey. Go over there. Oh. You all right? Yeah. We'll listen to Kane okay. 80. Box! Cruz de Zern told us, I had no Olympics because of Clarissa Shields, but this is my Olympics. This is my well, dream, yeah, and I'm going to make it come true. Don't hold. And it was a box, really a bunch of combinations of motivation that she don't mentioned. Don't hold. Don't hold. And don't she hold. remembered, even in the past. And now she get a chance to say, look, I know I'm stronger physically, I know I'm stronger mentally. And right now, to me, she seemed to get a boost on coming forward and throwing punches. And even though she's wide, she still continues to come forward. The way the left leg of Cornejo is locking up uh, really means she's not comfortable in there. You take a look at how her left leg is stepping forward and locking up. She gets caught with a nice overhand route to close out the ninth round. Four punches through the first nine rounds. Favor Franchon Cruz Desern, no doubt. But here, the corner of Maricela Cornejo is saying, no regrets. You've got to go out there and you've got to stop her if you want to be a world champion. And, and that to me right now watching this fight is true. And right now I don't see that urgency to do that. 196 to 62. You're holding. So over a hundred and twenty-five punches. It's difference thrown in terms of power punches in favor of Cruz Desern. That's been the difference for me in this fight. Franchon has continued from round one, throwing punches, but Stop. also coming forward and being aggressive. And you know what? When you're a judge, you're looking at that, and that becomes a positive when you're voting. And you know what? Franchon Cruz Desern said Barry Hunter right, and his right. team at Headbangers Gym out. took in a pair of misfits. My husband 
and myself. He's a Bantamweight pro. His name is Glenn Desern, and he said, I'm making my dream come true, and I think she's doing enough. Although she knew that she was the underdog, and she was fighting on Maricela Cornejo's promoter's card. She's aware, and that's why she came out throwing all night long. And I think she was, was cool with that. I yeah. think she was mentally you know, up, ready stop. to come in let here and do what now she's box. been doing, displaying that aggressive, displaying, explaining what she's don't talked grab, about, grab, and now stop. she's making it happen. Step back, step back. She's winning this fight, as far as I'm concerned, oh, yeah. and she's doing it in the style that she talked about. You know, just ripping to the body even here in the 10th and final round, and closing like a champion would want to close. Franchon Cruz Desern making a statement tonight and winning Stop. the belt, let go, let go. probably, fight that over. once belonged to Clarissa Shield, the one link she lost to in her professional debut. But it's been... Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Judge Patricia Morse Jarman has this bout scored even 95-95. Judge Tim Cheatham and Dave Moretti both have it 99-91. Your winner by majority decision and new WBC super middleweight champion from Baltimore, Maryland, Fred Shaw. Cruz Desire! It's around your waist and you said I'm really emotional right now. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this platform for women's boxing. Just thank you. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. And you know, hats off to Mary and her team. Thank you to Golden Boy. Thank you to the WBC. Thank you to my team, Headbangers. Thank you to my husband, Glenn Desern Jr. Thank you, God. And um, this is for my mom and B-Hop and... Uh, <laughs> Why B-Hop? Well, not, not the, the legendary B-Hop, okay. but he got some baby B-Hops in Baltimore. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> now, back to the fight, though. You said you were going to come out and you were going to try to enforce. You were going to try to bully her. That you felt like you had the mental edge on her early on. Is that what you felt? Um, I felt like this is my first time going 10 rounds. I have a lot of learning to do. But I just know that her will and her determination wasn't stronger than mine. And I don't give a damn what I had to do to win. As long as it was legal, we had some little, you know, don't rough areas in there. But it's a learning curve. And um, I'm just very grateful. Yesterday in the fighter meetings, you got really emotional. You said you didn't go to the Olympics. That you and your husband had to do everything you could to sacrifice. Drive an hour and a half to get to training. You were getting kicked out of gym. You were finding different things. But you found a home. And you never thought that this opportunity happened. You don't have a manager. You don't have a promoter. But now you have the belt around your waist. Wow. Exactly what you said. It just seems so more, so much more real. Yeah, I commute. So now I could put some money down on my hoopty, get me a new car if y'all want to sponsor me. You know, help a sister out. Um, but you know, I just believe in divine order and everything happens for a reason. And my journey's already written. I'm just living it. And uh, I just, wherever we go from here, I hope this inspires like male and female boxers. If you have a goal, stick with it. You're gonna hear a lot of no's, you know, but just if you believe in your heart, just go for it. The new WBC 168 pound champion from Baltimore, Maryland. Bernie? 